What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Daisy and today I'm with Nathaniel oh, Curtis. Hello. And we are creating the world's most perfect Instagram and we're gonna show you step by step about how we create things and make things viral. And yeah, it's gonna be great. So stay tuned. Oh, hello vlog. Is it automatically do this thing? Oh, it's focused. So right now <laughs> we're discussing our ideas. Usually, I mean, sometimes like that cow picture, that whole set, that was kind of my idea for the shoot and I kind of had like a vision in my head. Mm -hmm. um, or sometimes he'll have a vision and be like, hey, want to shoot? So right now we're kind of discussing our ideas and stuff. So we're going to start doing that. So, Nathaniel? The best part about visions is that sometimes Daisy disagrees with me. <laughs> and then we, some, we like meet in the middle. Like our photo styles are completely different but somehow we make them both work and we coordinate well together yeah, yeah it's it's always good uh, the biggest thing when you're when you're like working on something together is that sometimes you just can't see what's in the other person's head and you just don't get it but you just kind of got to trust them sometimes you know she definitely has brought some awesome visions you know I, I brought some stuff that she didn't realize was gonna do good like the cow photo the yeah. one that was her was idea like... she was like <laughs> So just again, she's like, no, like, I'm not gonna is, post it. <laughs> yeah, I know, this is weird. And then I randomly ended up posting it when we were actually at another shoot that we did. Literally at like 10 minutes, I already had like a thousand followers from it. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, at this time I only had like maybe 300K on Instagram. So like that was huge to me. I was yeah. like, holy sh this yeah. is amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. But I don't know, somehow me and Nathaniel always create like the most viral photos and I don't know how it happens. It just doesn't even make sense. So that's kind of why I wanted to like vlog this process and show you how to take the most perfect Instagram photo. Also, what a lot of people don't do is they don't think about their photos first. They don't even think about it. They're just like, I'm just gonna go do it. Just think about it. We always think about it. We like talk about it beforehand. We have like, like a vision before and then mm -hmm. we won't stop until we get that vision basically. Exactly. No matter how cold it is, right Daisy? <laughs> so quick quick pointers for, for getting a good photo for Instagram. One thing that's really helpful, integrate a little bit of red we subconsciously see red and think to stop. Like stop signs or stop lights. So if you incorporate a little bit of red, then it'll make people stop on your photo and actually look at it a little bit longer. Second thing for good photos, but take a couple different photos that might appeal to different kinds of people and do like carousel posts because Instagram shows your photo to different people based on the kind of people that like it. So if you find, if more women are liking your photo, then it will show your photo to more women and less men. But if you have a carousel post that has things for everybody, it'll actually show each slide of the carousel to the people and the audiences that would like it most. So make sure you have a diversity when you're going out and taking these photos so that you can uh, appeal to different audiences. You are welcome to plug your workshop as well. Oh, boom, so there's a workshop. I do those things. He will literally show you how to grow on Instagram. Like, a lot of his tips have helped me um just like mindset wise even just like get to where i am and yeah like obviously like i put in like most like all of it's all my work but like he every time i had a question i'd go to nathaniel oh that was me yes i would go to him like anytime i need advice or guidance he's amazing so he actually created a workshop yeah, i'm making a downloadable workshop so you can just you can just get it you don't even have to call me, but you can still call me if you want. I'll still answer your questions. I love, I love talking to everybody and make sure everybody wins. Everybody should win. He's also shot with some really big influencers as well. Lauren Gray is a big one. She's got like 16 million followers. And then uh, she was also used to be in the same management as Harvey. Harvey's super big too in the UK, singer. It, I've taken some photos for, I don't know, there's, so, there's, there's a Nikki lot. Oh no, yeah, Nikki Blackadder. Oh, she's such a homie. I love that girl. I don't know. There's like a lot. There's, I. I just, just luck. Just, just, just go check I, out his it's, Instagram. I don't want to name drop everybody. But <laughs> he's, he's very credible. <laughs> Every time we hang out, I learn something new. I don't know how, but I do. Yeah. So now that we've got those tips in, okay. um, the next footage is going to be of us actually taking the photo. Do and it. my goal right now is like, you want your photos to be sexy, but you don't want them to be like overboard. You want them to have like a little bit of innocence to them. At least that's what I find works for me. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to just be one of those Instagram hose all that kind of thing like i want to have a little bit of taste of them so i want to have like a sexy innocence yeah I, that's so actually that's my goal of trying to that's a yeah. really good point actually so one last thing is when you're taking good photos for instagram a good instagram photo has some sort of emotional response okay and caters to a desire 
So like, create you, a vibe. So you, when you look at the photo, you say like, oh, I wish I had a body like hers, or I wish I had like a girlfriend that looked like that, or I wish I could go there. Or you, you're you're catering to desires, and you're creating a photo for Instagram. Um, and so just having that little bit of sex appeal like is, is definitely help for you know getting something that goes viral because that evokes at least a tiny bit of emotion amongst I other mean, things. I mean, if you think about it, whenever someone talks about sex, everyone everyone's ears faces go toward whoever is talking because it's something like I don't, it's something that I don't know how to explain it, but you're, for some reason it's like how you get people's attention. You're probably listening more right now just because we started talking about it. Exactly. You're like, wait a second, let me click back over to that YouTube page, <laughs> and what the hell are they talking about but right it's now? it's true, and like a lot of people <laughs> like, um, speakers and public speakers will bring up sex or they'll use like vulgar language because it gets people's attention. But anyways, we'll show you how we take photos, that'll be the next thing, so bye. <laughs> okay, bye. So first thing is first, snacks. We always need snacks. Smack Get that blood nice. sugar going. So how do you find these spots? So, finding good spots can be brought down to a couple different things. First off, trick that I used to do when I had no knowledge of any spots was if you go on Google Maps on your computer and you go into satellite mode, you can hover over areas and you'll see a like a carousel of photos. And what I would do is I just solely scroll and scrub through like little areas. And once essentially I'd see a photo that I like, I would when you hover over it, it shows you where that is. I'd go out and try and find them. Or the biggest, like one of the best ways and one of the best practices to get good shots at spots is to have the ability to not be determined to get to where you're going, but being able to stop when you know something is right. Because sometimes you always like want to get to where you're going and you forget about, wait, right now at this place that I'm driving by actually looks really great. Let me stop really quick. And sometimes that could be really hard to do, but that ends up being like... But that was like the cow photo. Exactly, exactly. It was we're driving past, it looked right, and I was just like, we're pulling off, and we're, we're getting this shot. Coming at me with that horse shit. Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit. I know in my soul. Our location it's a little, a little dark in here it is a little bit dark in here i wish i would have brought my lighting it's very very cool oh yeah and very very vintage it kind of no, no we, we are not gonna grab no 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 i don't want that negative on my channel no get your ass back here Sketch ass room, right? Got the Ouija board right here. We need like uh, the eye thing, you know? And we need. So, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna turn kind of three quarters this way, and then you're gonna cross your legs, you're gonna stand right here, and then you're gonna kind of like hold it like this, like with your legs crossed. Isn't this See what I mean? Yeah. We need a bigger fire. See, when I get through on there, see that one's nice. Finally, there we go. Like, uh, bring it up like towards you. Uh, okay. Alright, out, throw it. That was a scary one. That was a scary I one. I don't like the fire coming from both ends. Done when I tense up. They patients were now playing dress up. Big sales on them big meals. Got a pocket full of coupons, we going on well. And you know I got them refills. Got my dimes and the coffee vents playing on the JBL. They look young, but they sleep and
So that's a wrap on this shoot. That was super fun. That house was absolutely oh, amazing. I think I want to do like a birthday trip there. I think that would be so dope. Oh yeah. But anyways, <laughs> no. Yeah. No. But anyways, that's kind of what my photo shoots with Nathaniel look like. And oh, that's yeah. kind of how we create that viral content. That's just so amazing. Last way to end the trip is soul food. Every time, I feel like we go to soul food every single time after our photo shoots. We're super excited for that. And I feel soul like that's food. like that's the main reason of why these photos go viral, huh? Is soul food. Soul food. Again, 100%. Oh, yeah. It's a tradition. Oh, uh, it's soul food. It's all soul food. And blurry shots. I'm so sorry. This is <laughs> blurry. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, then you can subscribe. Also, go check out my Instagram. My Instagram is Daisy Keach. My Snapchat is Daisy April. My Twitter is Daisy Keach. And Instagram is Daisy Keach. So go follow those. Go, you know, whatever. Follow. Also, go check out Nathaniel. Oh. Just Nathaniel Gerda's Instagram. And then also his workshops if you're trying to learn how to grow on Instagram and other tips and tricks of social media and photography and all of that. But, anyways, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we found a way